We're going to take a look at box plots and at least one variation on the box plot proposed by Ed Tufty. So here we have a ggplot my data, AS, X is gender, and Y is SAT score. And we're just going to get a box plot of SAT scores by gender. You can look at that. Let's uh, put a theme on this. Theme underscore Tufty, open and close parentheses. And then, uh, so there we have that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, in keeping with Ed Tufty's uh, recommendations, I'm going to get rid of these tick marks here. Just start getting into some of the things you can checks equal false. And you'll see what that does. Just going to take these ticks and these down here away. You can see those are gone. And now I'm going to do something let's see, plus. Now I'm going to do geome underscore tufty box plot. Actually, I could have, well, I'm just going to take this out up here. And then I'm going to put that in open parentheses. And what you're going to see is something that just uses less ink, but still gets the uh, idea across. And so we have a dot in the middle for the histogram. Then we have some space. And so here's Q3 and Q1 designated by the space. So instead of a box, we just have space. And then lines out to... <clears throat> the fences and then outliers uh, mark, be marked out uh, on the upper and lower sides of the quartiles. I can change the uh, distance in between there. If I really need to do this on this one, but I could just to show you this. And you'll just see they went into the uh, middle there. And now I'm going to, uh, instead of having x equal gender, I'm going to have it equal the number of siblings that someone has. If I'm right, this won't work. We'll see. And it doesn't. And that's because siblings, this x has to be a categorical variable, and siblings is a count variable. Um, but we can have it treat that as if it's a categorical, actually you can just think of that as a discrete variable. And now what we'll have is box plots with all of the groups across there. I think I can do away with that width. Let's see what we get here. And so now you have a box plot and kind of makes it easy to compare the medians by just looking at the dots in the middle there. And you can see on these, there just aren't that many people that have six, seven, or eight uh, siblings. And uh, well, they don't even have me on the chart because, well, I have nine. Maybe I'm just not applicable. Uh, and of course, I could have just had a regular box plot here. by taking out the Tufty. And there, okay. Once again, I don't get the whole thing highlighted, and there we go. Of course, you can see easily now with those just having bars, that there just isn't enough data out there to really do anything. Okay, I'm going to just have fewer groups and have things that have more in it, I'm going to put award. I could put factor award, but it's already in alphabetic uh, data. So we have that. And let's say I want to change the width of those boxes. Let's cut them down a little bit. 0.5. And you'll see they just get narrower. See, now I'm adding options inside the parentheses for the 
Fox plot. And then you um, can also do something that's uh, a notched box plot, puts a 95% confidence interval for the median on each box, and you can look to see if they overlap or not. And you'll see that. And then the other thing you can do is add a uh, point, we'll make it a diamond, that uh, will de designate where the mean is in the box plot. And so for that, I've added this stat summary, fun y, function y is equal to the mean, geom is equal to point, and I'm going to make it shape 23, which is a diamond, make it a little bit bigger than it normally would be, and then I'm going to make fill is equal to the so I'm going to make that a color of dark red. And let's see. Okay, I didn't think I needed that size in there. Not sure how that got in there. And there we go. Now we have a diamond. It says it's dark red. It's hard to tell here. But a dark red diamond in, in each one to designate where the mean is at. Another thing I can do is I can go in where this notch is true, and I can say var width equal true. You can do this actually in a base um, box plot as well in base R, but what this will do is uh, it won't be exactly proportional, but it will change the width of the box plots to reflect the relative sample sizes within each group. And that needs to be a comma right there. And there we go. And I think I'll try here. Just another theme here. So I can just get a different look of things. And there you go. And so anyway, there are just some things you can do with, with box plots.